Hello friends, how are you doing today? So this video uh, is the first video I released in 2021 and uh, I'd like to begin with a very simple project and uh, to start the new year, okay? And here uh, is a project. So basically, as you can see here, I have some uh, company names here and I apply to different styles to each letter in the in the company name so this could be any other word or any other company name you can use or logo uh, very similar something like this so basically uh, you can do it manually all right so you only need, you can uh, select the letter and uh, you can apply a format maybe you can change the color you can give it a italic or you, you can change the bolt or not bolt and you can do all of these customizations to the to the letters in the word okay but uh, if you have a lot of keyword a lot of word you need to do maybe you have a hundred google you need to, you need to style uh, yes you can copy and paste but if you have something like this maybe you can uh, if you need to find the keyword in a sentence and the sentence may be different sentence you cannot copy and paste i think okay so you need to write a script and to do that customization to do that they work for you so that's uh, the main purpose of this project so if this uh, if you are doing something similar in your daily work you can check this uh, video and i will show you how to do the configuration and how to use it okay in your google sheet so first let uh, first of all let me give you a very quick demo here uh, first i need to remove the the format of all of these uh, cells okay so select all of them and go to the menu format and the clear formatting so now there is no format it's just plain text and here there is a link here hyperlink here you need to and link it and then remove the link okay so now all of them are plain text so first of all i like to uh, style the column a okay so i just choose the word in column a and i go to this menu uh, rich text app and uh, to run this first function style the selection okay so let's try to run this function here as you can see here now i <laughs> just uh, apply the styles to the keyword apple google yahoo so just some uh, similar like this so in column a there is no extra word in the cell okay so no other uh, word in the cell but in column b as you can see here there is some short sentence and uh, you can find the keyword in the sentence uh, like apple is a fruit something like this so I only need to highlight the keyword Apple in this sentence, okay? And uh, in the second one, I'd like to highlight Google. And the third one, I'd like to highlight the Yahoo, okay? So let's try to select the fields here, the cells here, and uh, try to run this again. All right. So now, as you can see, the keyword, I highlighted. All right, not highlighted, it's formatted. Uh, by default, it's not by default, it's by the settings in this style sheet. I will going to explain this sheet to you later. So if you add another keyword, maybe Google here. So let's try to run this again. So I should, uh, uh, yes, I should apply two styles. The first one is the keyword Apple, okay, which is defined in the style sheet. I will show you later. And the second one is a Google, okay, so you can both of both keywords are highlighted differently, right? So this is the main function, and this is the main purpose of this project I'd like to share with you today. Okay, so this is the first is a demo to you. So if you think this uh, this is interesting and this could be helpful for you for your daily work, you can uh, continue with this video. Okay, you can. Uh, keep on going with me okay so here let's go to the styles so this styles basically 
we have three columns here you can define uh, the first column is a keyword and it's uh, so like the Apple Google and the Yahoo okay so it is case sensitive so you need to make sure the keyword like Apple with a in capital case you need to use Apple like this but if you use Apple like this uh, with a lowercase so it will not work this way you are not going to find this uh, Apple here okay but if I let me try to remove the format and try to run it again so just to explain this to you so it's case sensitive as you can see this Apple is not uh, styled and the Google is styled or is formatted as well formatted well and this Apple is not form formatted all right so this is the first thing I'd like to share with you so it's case sensitive all right so this is a keyword you need to uh, you need to style you need to format and this is a style okay you can do basically you can change the color let me zoom in a little bit so this basically is a is a JSON uh, format okay and uh, you have one two three four you have uh, seven uh, parameters you can configure you can configure the, the style so basically the color the font color actually the font color and this is the size of the font and this is a family the font family and this is a bot uh, you can change it to bot uh, and uh, add a true or false basically this is a boolean values so you can choose a true false true false and uh, italic strikes through and the line so basically you only can have uh, seven styles you can apply to uh, to them okay so uh, this example uh, uh, only the uh, all of the characters in this keyword have the same style okay basically they have the same color so you can use one color here you only need to one color so if I have uh, like the Google as you can see here I have different color for each uh, letters in the word so how do I do the styles okay so if you check the Google here as you can see here so now we can use, uh, we need to use array so we need to put these colors different colors in the array okay so this is for the first letter this is for the second as you can see here I have six letters in Google and I have six color uh, hex color for the for the each of the each letter in this uh, in this word so if you need to have a different size you can you also can do it maybe I have a different size for the word maybe 20 20 so first letter is bigger 48 and the rest of them I need to keep them 20 okay so one two three four six I think it's a six uh, I only need six okay so you also can do it with this family I think I you also can use it use this array so if if you want to have different style for uh, each letter you can use array okay so if they are the same you you can keep it uh, as simple like this you don't need to use array all right so let's try to uh, apply this to Google so let's see what happened here so let's try to run this again as you can see here so this uh, the first letter is 48 in the font size and the rest of the uh, letters in the Google is uh, I think is 20 okay so this is how you style uh, each letters in the word okay so you also can do it like this and uh, maybe it strikes true let's try to put it true oh, no this is underlying okay so let's try to underline force let's try to use this strikes through so maybe false true false true false true so let's see what happened here so let's try to run this again okay as you can see it's very weird so the first one no strikes through and the second one strikes through so it's just uh, styled like this so 
you can do a lot of combination okay in uh, in this uh, JSON uh, object here all right so just simple like this and if you the, the columns uh, column C here is for the hyperlink okay if you'd like to apply a, a URL or web link uh, for this keyword you can add a URL here so it's going to apply this URL to this keyword so right now this apple is black okay so let's try to change it to red let's try to change it ff0000 okay so this is red and apply change the color to red and apply this URL to apple so let's try to run this again mm -hmm. okay now uh, you see this is a red apple with the uh, with the link to apple.com okay so this is this is how you style uh, the, the keyword you'd like to use all right so in uh, let me zoom out a little bit so as you can see here the main features uh, of this project uh, I already built it for you but as you can see here if you want to do some uh, right now you only can select some cells and you can run the style you only you only can style the selection but in your daily work in your in your project you maybe need to do something different okay maybe you can I always need to highlight column maybe in column A column B but you don't have to select them you, but you only need to do some uh, very s simple uh, customization of my script you can do it very quickly so let me show you in the script okay so you can build other functions to do it okay not just style the selection you can select uh, you can always uh, style maybe uh, range a1 to c5 you can you can set a range okay you can set a fixed range or dynamic range not only by the selection because if you want to run this script uh, automatically automatically every morning or every day or every hour uh, without open this spreadsheet you need to use a trigger to run it and you need to set up a range in that trigger okay so basically here by the way I finally got this new editor here okay so right now I'm not very familiar with this so uh, you don't need to care about this class this app here so you need to do as you can see here I have a function to call style selection so this is a function when I click this select uh, style selection here and we're going to call this function okay so you can copy make a copy of this function and uh, write another function maybe let me try to do another one maybe uh, let's try to style a style test so here uh, you need to uh, create a new app here uh, with this object called app all right so this is a range you can define because in this uh, style selection I got the ranges from the selection okay basically got the, all the ranges from the selection but here you can define your range okay you can remove this and I think uh, I can remove this one this one and I only need to define the range okay so range will be maybe maybe app.ss you can use spreadsheet app api here get active and uh, get sheet by name so you can define a sheet name maybe in this home okay so you you can have other uh, sheet sheet name here but uh, as a demo here i use the home sheet uh, this is sheet name okay so i get the home sheet and uh, I get the range so you can define a range here so maybe I, I like to use a a1 to b3 okay so this is a range I'd like to uh, test okay so 
here you can you can use a dynamic range here all right so and this is not always a home you can apply this to any other sheet in this spreadsheet okay so let me give a test here and uh, first of all let to clear the range of this uh, clear the format of this range and apply the new styles to this range all right so let's try to save this and try to run this style test function here so first of all i remove the formatting here so i don't select the range here but i can try to run this style test here to to style the range a1 and the b3 as you can see here a1 b3 so this is a range styled and the uh, rest of them here is not styled because it's not in the range okay so this is how you can uh, do a very quick modification of my code and uh, change it to your to suit to suit for your daily work okay so it's just simple like this okay i forgot to mention one thing here uh, in the styles here you can of course you can copy uh, the code here and the, the two modifications as you like if you have a new uh, keyword maybe uh, app script maybe some app script uh, keyword another keyword new keyword and and you can use this fill json in selection so it's going to fill uh, okay it's just like a template or it's just a snippet it's just the code here so it's going to generate the code for you so you don't need to uh, enter it manually and uh, and then you can do some modification here but you also can make a copy of this one or this one all right but if you uh, by accidentally you delete all of them and, and you cannot remember uh, which key uh, is use it in this object you can use this function to fill it uh, to generate a template a json object template here for your keyword okay so you can use it and if you have servers you can select uh, uh, multiple cells and you can fill the json object for them okay just duplicate all of them for the select cells okay so i think this is the final stuff i'd like to share with you and uh, if you'd like to use this uh, project you can go to my github repository or you, you also can have a copyable link in the description of this video okay so you just make a copy of this file to your google drive and uh, you should be able to use it and you should see a rich text app menu here and uh, you should be able to use it all right so let let's i think that's all for today's video okay so i'll see you next time bye bye